Hi friends. Hope you are all fine. And art activity, column activity, all are going on in full swing. So I'm again here. So last time we did a artwork with pista shells. So I hope you all did it and enjoyed it. This time today also I'm going to do with pista shells, but a slightly different art. This is very easy. So let's start. See what I have done is I've taken a paper and I've drawn some bushes. I'm going to do some wild flower painting today. So I've already drawn, I mean, painted some uh, bushes with green and yellow paint. And the pista shells, I've taken pista shells colored in different colors. Mukund has colored it like last time. So color choice is up to you. Red, yellow, white, black, some plain shells, green and blue. So to We are going to do some flowers. Last time we did a tree with birds. Today we are going to do flowers. So the materials we need is paper, paint and colored pista shells and one pencil. And uh, See, everybody, I mean, I didn't particularly tell how to paint it. It is either you can hold the pista shell, the child can hold like this in his hand and paint it like this. Or if he finds it difficult to hold, what you can do is just keep it on a plate or a piece of paper. Just you hold, you just press on one end, ask him to dip in paint and just do like this. So even if it doesn't apply uh, uniformly, it is fine because all flowers, all birds, we, we don't expect them to be uh, very uniform, I mean, uh, color or feather, it can be double color. So that is fine. So like this, they can paint like this or holding in hand is little more, it will come neatly. So like last time, you can draw a flower in the shape. The petals are like this, almost the size of pista shells. Why we are do doing this is the outline because children will find it easy to stick. So I'm just drawing very lightly the outline of the flowers. So you should prepare this and keep and the painted pista shell which have dried that also now with the fevicol just apply wherever you have drawn the outline you can apply actually not you the child should apply because the artwork should be done by him you just guide him or assist him that's all him or her and if you feel it is not evenly applied you can just with one finger you can just do like this
Okay, that's all. Now, first I'll do with red shell. Ask the child to keep it on each petal. It will become really beautiful. So it need not be flowers, it need not be birds, anything. Pista shells, you can do anything with this. We now have done a red flower. Maybe I'll do one with yellow. According to me, wild flowers are the most beautiful flowers in the world. They are not hardly seen by anyone. Very few people who go to jungle like me only, jungly people only will see it. But they are the best, according to me. Let's see, yellow is ready. Now, which color can we choose? I'm a bit confused. Okay, we'll go with plain one. Why should we ignore it? Plain. Yeah, plain also looks beautiful actually. So... Make sure it sticks. Make double check whether it has stuck. And so the flower part is ready. And uh, if you have some, uh, if you want some little more to add beauty to the flower, either put some dots in the middle, whatever that is left to parents because I find them more. Uh, creative than me. I get ideas from them these days. So that's all. Now, to add a little more beauty, I am drawing one kuti butterfly. That too with pista shells will make. You can even ask children, what will you see in the garden where there is, uh, I mean, wherever we see flowers, what can you see there? What have you seen there like that? So, it will be more interactive. So we'll make a blue butterfly. Like this, and sketch pen or paint. Anything is fine. I mean, sketch pen or brush you can use to draw the. You do the extra work. So that's it. Painting is ready. Artwork is ready. And whatever extra you want, you can add. So I hope you liked it. Just you see how it looks. See, this is our pista artwork, pista shell artwork. Children will definitely like it. Try it out. Thanks a lot for watching.